Hi there. I'm Scott Brown, the IATN president. We just got back from a jam-packed weekend in Overland Park, Kansas at the ASA Midwest Vision High Tech Training and Expo. And uh, what we did is uh, we produced a live broadcast of the Educator Think Tank program uh, that featured a number of educators uh, and that sat up on a panel and had a series of questions come in from the audience. We broadcasted that live to our IATN official YouTube channel, uh, which the, the feed actually went into the educators forum. Uh, there is a post in there. But uh, you can just go to the uh, go to YouTube slash user slash IATN and uh, you'll see the Educator Think Tank panel there. Well, anyhow, um, Friday and Saturday was a trade show and uh, we had a booth. And uh, as you can see here, we've had quite a bit of activity. Uh, what we did was we set up a GoPro in our booth, uh, capturing an image every 10 seconds. And um, what you're seeing is uh, those stitched together to kind of show you the activity. Uh, we thought it would be kind of fun to, um, to share that with uh, folks out there. And uh, for those of you that were able to stop by our booth either Friday or Saturday, uh, gosh, we thank you very much. Uh, it really uh, does a lot for us to, to uh, meet our members, talk to our members, uh, share some of the newer things that we're developing on the site and answer any questions for you. Um, we're also here, you know, in the development forum, uh, you can go ahead and post uh, any comments and suggestions. Um, you know, we're always uh, trying to improve the network. Uh, you know, you guys are the ones that, that drive our, our decisions and uh, so that we can produce uh, features that really make sense. Um, if you continue to stay on here, you'll see as we switch over to the uh, Saturday session, we set up a video camera and we invited uh, numerous members to come by and give us a testimonial. So you'll see those scattered through. You'll kind of see when they get queued up and uh, you get to sit back and listen to their candid comments about IETN and how they're using it. So sit back and enjoy. Hi, I'm Scott Gonzo Weaver from Spear Electric out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. I use IETN on a regular basis, one of the best resources for automotive information. How you doing? My name is Paul Danner. I teach at Rosedale Technical Institute in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I've been a member of IETN for probably 12 years. Uh, I have a mobile diagnostic business, so when I'm done teaching during the day, I, you know, travel around and you know work for different garages. One of the main things I use IETN for would be you know reference library, trying to get good waveforms. Hi there, it's Jim Silverman with ATI. I've been an IETN member for, uh, I don't know, probably 15 years, 14 years. Um, and I'm not technical, so that makes me a little different than most IETN users. Um, I'm more of a lurker. I go on and I look to see what people are saying so that I know what's going on in the industry and it helps me keep track of what it is. So I think IETN is a great thing and I recommend it to shop owners all the time. So. Hi, I'm Eldon from Ohio, and um, I've been on AATN for more than 10 years, and um, it's a wonderful, wonderful resource for information and uh, a lot of learning uh, opportunities there. And um, I don't know if my shop would be here today if it weren't for IATN. Hi, my name is Skip Potter. I'm the executive director for the National Automotive Service Task Force, and IATN is a uh, is a daily stop on my routine. Uh, I'm glad to be here at Vision in Kansas City, and if uh, I, I can say any technician 
or educator who has never been to Vision in Kansas City uh, is missing uh, the experience of a lifetime. I've been in this industry my entire life and I can tell you it invigorates me no end to, to be here. And uh, uh, I encourage everyone to uh, make the effort to uh, get out here and uh, get something out of the training, uh, walk around the, uh, the show floor and see uh, some of the new tools and equipment. And of course, stop by the IATN booth and uh, visit with those guys. And uh, uh, we all know the value of IATN. So, hey, this is Richard out from Santa Barbara, California, and what I see in the value of IATN, oh my gosh, since the inception, AOL, dial-up, to now, the ability to be able to network with mechanics all over the world is incredible. And all of us have always had issues where we've called our friend to ask him about fixing a car, Imagine having thousands and thousands and thousands of friends. IATN, right on. I'm Matt Fonzel from Red Wing, Minnesota. I've been on IATN for quite a while now. Uh, when I first joined up, uh, I thought I actually knew a few things. I quickly learned that I had a lot to learn, and IATN was a great uh, conduit to finding ways to learn more and open up my horizons as a technician, and also led into some uh, training opportunities. Um, here at Vision, I've been coming here since about 2005. Uh, probably the best event I know of for the automotive repair industry for training and trade show. Hello, my name is John Nello from Montclair, New Jersey, owner operator of AutoTech on Wheels. I've been in business probably like around 22 years doing mobile diagnostics for repair shops in northern New Jersey. Uh, probably like around 1,200 repair shops, uh, today's count, and close to 500 body shops. Um, IATN's been around for a very long time. A lot of uh, IATN's information in the knowledge base, which helps my business, uh, for instance, gathering information on waveform patterns that I don't have, I may not have time to collect for crankcap, crankshaft correlation problems to rule out timing chain issues. I can actually go to the database and I will find something there relating to the car I'm working on, pull it up and do a comparison to what I have, and it's, it's, it's a great thing to have. It's another asset, another tool asset for my arsenal of tools I have on board. And it, it's just, the bottom line, helps fix cars. And there may be unique problems that you may not see all the time that someone else has seen before you. And it may be something that you may not find with your tool or in your information system. So I'll go to IATN, I'll plug in a problem card I have, and someone's seen this unique problem. And I'm like, wow, this guy's seen it. And I read up on it. And it's not like a cheat sheet. It's actually a tool, another tool for you to use in your industry. Very valuable asset. And also you're networking with, with uh, many guys, building new relationships with many guys that may be in the same field as you, uh, whatever you're doing, whether you're a body shop guy, or a working technician, or whether you're a mobile tech. Um, and just being part of that community is, is very valuable to me. Uh, my name is Zach Eggleston. Uh, I've been a member on IATN for seven years. Uh, I'm a Business Plus sponsor. Uh, I've got all my technicians using it now, and, as well as my service rider. Uh, IATN has been a tremendous source uh, for me personally through the years, um, learning from a lot of very smart people, and uh, it's tremendously increased my level of competency as a technician. And also, as far as the management end of the business goes, um, it has helped me a lot there as well. Thanks.
Hi, uh, my name is Doug Mueller from a company called Tech Help in Concord, California. I have a private school and I also have an auto repair shop. Uh, just here to uh, talk a little bit about IATN. Uh, I've been a sponsoring member in IATN for uh, a, quite a long period of time, probably at least uh, five to ten years, and uh, I can't tell you how great a value it is. Hi, my name is John Bridgewater. I own Bridgewater Automotive in Castro Valley, California. I've been in the business for uh, 28 years. Uh, I've been a member of IATN since 1997. Been to several different conventions, met a lot of really great people. Um, I'm, uh, I, in very large part, I owe my career to IATN because without them, I probably would have just been stuck in some job with no training and, uh, and uh, no networking. So. Uh, I highly recommend IATN to anybody considering it. I'm Mike Yoakum. I've been an IATN member for 16 years. It's my window into the world. It's my way of finding out what's going on in shops and in service bays all over the United States and all over the world. Adam Gashi, Emporia, Kansas. I cannot thank I-10 enough for the information and the knowledge which I've gained from them. Every time I turn around, it's another group of guys that's just excellent to gain knowledge and gain information from. Thank you. Hello, I am uh, Thomas Perkins from Springfield, Missouri. Been a, I've been a member of IATN since 99. Um, IATN has kind of shaped my career by giving me the connection to my peers, um, allowing me to study case studies online and the uh, waveform database has been invaluable for doing auto repair. Um, I've added to the database, I've drawn from the database and basically the people connection from IATN has been invaluable and has really flourished and made my career flourish, I guess would be the thing to say. Thank you. My name's Jeremy Carlson, Newton, Kansas. Uh, been on uh, IATN since about 2000. Um, learned a lot on there. Uh, get into the forums, get active. Um, there's a lot of other factory information in there, GM side. The whole GM set course is on there. I've been through the whole thing several times. Um, it's a very good networking opportunity. My name is Travis Wolf, uh, owner of Mobile Diagnostics and Programming in Wichita, Kansas. And IATN has made it possible for me to meet people from all over the world and share information and knowledge everywhere. Thank you.